Hello guys, how, how are you? Man? Good, thanks, how are you? Very well, thank you very much. Uh, what's more nerve-wracking, performing in front of a live audience or reading out those nominations? <laughs> I, have to, I have to ask, because I watched it live, and not to criticise you, but it felt like it was maybe a, a more nerve-wracking thing than it, than it seemed for anything else. Are you saying we looked nervous? No, you looked nervous. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, no, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it makes, yeah, it's very nerve-wracking. You don't want to get anyone's name wrong, you know, and ruin anyone's names. moment. It's the names. It's the names. Uh, yeah, it's it's the names. You know, they're being nominated, you don't want to say some other names, so it's not a nice thing, but um, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 in my experience uh, as an actor, I feel like it's always any time I've had to say names, it's, it's the worst. And I think it's usually because if you were doing a production of something on stage, you've had weeks and weeks of rehearsals, <laughs> we've had like a couple of minutes with you know the exact pronunciation, so it's 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 difficult. And you know, you just we just don't want to do anyone bad, you know, as uh, you just want to. Yeah. Don't hate and it's me. such a big moment in their lives as well yeah. to get, receive a nomination. Yeah. You just don't want to be the one to somehow mar that. Yeah. Um, you won't meet them at an award exactly. ceremony. Exactly. 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 Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, it's been a it's been a strange year for British film. Obviously, there's been some cinema closures and obviously out of the pandemic. But this year, there feels like such a rich tapestry of movies and so many amazing films. Have you have you guys been able to see any of the, the films? Because there's it seems like a plethora of fantastic achievements this year. Um, yeah, they look absolutely incredible. I haven't actually got to see any, but no, I saw Silent Twins. Um, and it's like one of the first films I watched when I just got back to London and it's just absolutely incredible and I'm a massive fan, but I'm, I can't wait to watch the rest. I, I'm so far behind. I'm still catching up on last year's yeah. <laughs> nominations. Lot, yeah. I only recently just watched Boiling Point that my, my, my good friend Stephen Graham started. And that blew me away. So, I mean, I feel like, yeah, I'm still playing a lot of catch up. Uh, I have a, lot, a long way to come. But, there, I, you know, I, what I know about this particular award ceremony is it always shines a spotlight on films that are really, really impactful and important. And, um, you know, with great, wonderful performances and rich storytelling. So I, it's definitely something I'm going to be looking forward to. You obviously were here for, for Rocks. How has that kind of changed your, your life? Because the Biffers, you know, Rocks was really embraced by not just the award ceremonies, but audiences really embraced the story that you guys were telling. Yeah, yeah, they loved it, um, which is a surprise. No, it's not a surprise. It's just... Um, <laughs> that's not so bad. I'm talking. No, but honestly, because, you know, when we made it, we just made it um, for YouTube. So I think we were just all putting a lot of love into it because it was all of our authentic experiences experiences so for it to be received like that is a lot of different emotions um, and to be nominated for it was yeah insane because I'd never been nominated for anything in my life nor done any acting so I was just trying to understand it all um, but no I'm extremely grateful and I am grateful to be back again with Biffa and you know to be present in the next incredible people. Yeah I was always excited to see what, what both of you were doing you've just finished I've been watching your I think your Instagram Riley Keogh's Instagram of Daisy Six oh, coming yeah, out and yeah. yeah how exciting are you, uh, excited you've to for people to see that, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's that thing. I, 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 I always get very nervous, like after having finished something and it then being put to task by by the general public. Like I, I kind of want to keep it as my own little thing. Like I'm very proud of it in a, in a way that, you know, I, I had a long way to come. I didn't know how to play guitar. And I was grateful, in a sense, for the pandemic to give me the extra time yeah. for, for, for for preparation. But um, yeah, there were there were. I, I feel like I you know, challenged myself in brand new ways and it's a great story. Uh, so hopefully we do it justice. It's, it's, it's really what do you awesome. make to the Hunger Games prequels? Are you excited I'm to see that? I'm very them as excited a fan? to see that too, again as a fan of, of the books. Um, and and the the filmmakers it's the same Francis Lawrence is at the helm and he's such a wonderful man and a friend. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Fantastic. Well guys thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Pleasure talking Thank to you as ever. Thanks, thanks man. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!